All right, going to give another reason why Christians have no business celebrating or observing or having any participation in Halloween, or as I call it, Satan's Holy Day, or the Holy Day of the Underworld, or Hell's Holy Day, whatever you want to call it. The reason why, the big reason why Christians ought to have no participation in Halloween is because the Holy Scriptures clearly say to not learn the way of the heathen. And Halloween is in fact the way of the heathen. It comes from uh, Celtic Druidic Paganism and Wiccan Witchcraft. I showed that in my other video about the occult satanic roots of Halloween. The pagan roots of it. It's the way of the heathen. And what does the Bible say about learning the way of the heathen? Jeremiah chapter 10 verse number 2. Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Ezekiel chapter 11 verse 12. And ye shall know that I am the Lord, for ye have not walked in my statutes, neither executed my judgments, but have done after the manners of the heathen that are round about you. Ezra chapter 6 verse 21 And the children of Israel, which were come again out of captivity, and all such as had separated themselves unto them from the filthiness of the heathen of the land, to seek the Lord God of Israel, did eat. In Colossians chapter 2 verse 8 Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. That's what Halloween is. It's vain tradition, philosophy of men, after the rudiments of this evil, sinful world, not after Christ. That's what Halloween is when you really get down to it. Manasseh was condemned when he sinned against God by learning the way of the heathen. For, uh, 2 Kings chapter 21 verses 1 to 3. Manasseh was twelve years old when he began to reign, and reigned fifty and five years in Jerusalem, and his mother's name was Hephzibah, right, and he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, after the abominations of the heathen, whom the Lord cast out before the children of Israel. For he built a, up again high, the high places which Hezekiah his father had destroyed, and he reared up altars for Baal, and made a grove, as, Ahab the king, as did Ahab king of Israel, and worshipped all the hosts of heaven, and served them. Second Chronicles chapter 33 verses 1 to 6 Manasseh was twelve years old when he began to reign, and he reigned fifty and five years in Jerusalem. But did that which is which was evil in the sight of the Lord, like unto the abominations of the heathen whom the Lord had cast out before the children of Israel. For he built again the high places which Hezekiah his father had broken down, and he reared up, up altars for Balaam, and made groves, and worshipped all the hosts of heaven, and served them. Also he built altars in the house of the Lord, whereof the Lord had said in Jerusalem, Shall my name be forever? And he built altars for all the hosts of heaven in the two courts of the house of the Lord. And he caused his children to pass through the fire in the valley of the son of Hinnom. Also he observed times, and used enchantments, and used witchcraft, and dealt with a familiar spirit, and with wizards, and wrought much evil in the sight of the Lord, to provoke him to anger. Witchcraft and Halloween go hand in hand. Halloween's all about witchcraft. So I'll just point that out as a little side note. Ahaz was condemned for sinning against God by learning the way of the heathen. Second Kings chapter 16 verses 2-4 to four. Twenty years old was Ahaz when he began to reign, and reigned sixteen years in Jerusalem, and did not that which was right in the sight of the Lord his God, like David his father, but he walked in the way of the kings of Israel, yea, and made his son to pass through the fire, according to the abominations of the heathen, whom the Lord had cast out before the children of Israel, before the children of Israel, and he sacrificed and burned incense in the high places and on the hills and under every green tree. Second uh, Chronicles chapter 28 verses 1 to 4. Ahaz was 20 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 16 years in Jerusalem, but he did not that which was right in the sight of the Lord, like David his father. 
for he walked in the ways of the kings of Israel and made also molten images for Balaam. Moreover, he burnt incense in the valley of the son of Hinnom and burned his children in the fire after the abominations of the heathen whom the Lord had cast up before the children of Israel. He sacrificed also and burnt incense in the high places and on the hills and under every green tree. So again, you see this connection of child sacrifice also going along with witchcraft again and with Halloween too. You know, because it is the way of the heathen. I showed in my video about the occult roots of Halloween that the Druidic pagans would sacrifice humans on Halloween. So Halloween is the way of the heathen, thus child sacrifice does have connections to Halloween, as we see in these verses here. When the children of Israel was learning the way of the heathen, they provoked God to anger. Second Kings chapter seventeen, verses fifteen to seventeen. And they rejected his statutes and his covenant that he had that he made with their fathers and his testimonies which he testified against them and they followed vanity and became vain and went after the heathen that were round about them concerning whom the lord had char had cherished them that they should not do like them and they left all the abominations of the lord their god and made them molten images even two calves and made a grove and worshiped all the hosts of heaven and served baal and they caused their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire and use divination and enchantments and sold themselves to do evil in the sight of the lord to provoke him to anger psalms 106 verses 35 to 40. But were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. And they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. Yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto them, and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan. And the land was polluted with blood. Uh, thus they were defiled with their own works, and went a whoring after their own, with their own inventions. Uh, therefore the was the wrath of the, of the Lord kindled against his people, insomuch that he abhorred his own inheritance. God, he had abhorred his own inheritance. He had abhorred them. They were his own inheritance. They were his chosen people, and he abhorred them. Why? Because they were learning the way of the heathen. When you're participating in Halloween, if you're a Christian, you're a child of God, spiritually speaking. And if you're learning the way of the heathen, you're provoking God to anger. Now, you can't lose your salvation because obviously you're sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Ephesians 1.13, Ephesians 4.30, 2 uh, Corinthians chapter 1, verse 21 to 22. You're kept by the power of God. Second, or 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 to 5. You know, Jesus Christ will not lose you at John 10, verses 28 to 30, and John chapter 6, verses 35 to 40. Okay, you can't lose your salvation, but you can get God's chastening on your life. And when you celebrate a wicked, demonic, pagan, occult holiday like Halloween, Holy Day, Hell's Holy Day, the Holy Day of the Underworld, like Halloween, you're going to provoke God to anger. You're learning the way of the heathen, which is forbidden in Scripture. So really, Christians ought to have no part in Halloween solely because it is the way of the heathen. That's simple. So just wanted to make you all aware that this upcoming Halloween, or Halloween as I like to call it, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.